write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number one, if measurement angle 3 plus measurement angle 4 equals 180 degrees, then angle 3 and angle 4 are complementary angles. When we say complementary angles, the sum of the measures is equal to 90 degrees. It means that it is false. Number two, if angle DEF is a right angle, then measurement of angle DEF is 90 degrees. What is the measurement of right angle that is 90 degrees? It means this is true. Number three, if O is the midpoint of segment PT, then PO equals OT. By definition of midpoint, we can say that PO is equal to OT. So this is true. Number four, if ray RE bisects angle ART, then measurement angle ARE is equal to measurement angle ERT. Okay, so let us draw for you to be able to understand. So this is angle ART. By definition of angle bisector, measurement of angle ARE is equal to measurement of angle ERT. It means that this is also true. Number five, if angle JEL and angle LEO are adjacent angles, then angle JEL plus angle LEO is equal to 180 degrees. For example, we have here angle JEL. So this is JEL and angle LEO, LEO are adjacent angles then angle JEL plus angle LEO is equal to 180 degrees that is false let's try another activity complete each if then statement and use definitions to give reason in order to justify your answers number one if R is the midpoint of AT then example we have a segment AT and the midpoint is R by definition of midpoint, we can say that segment AR is equal to segment RT. Number two, if angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles, then by definition of supplementary angles, measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Number three, if measurement angle A plus measurement angle B is equal to 90 degrees, by definition of complementary angles, we can say that angle A and angle B are complementary angles. Number 4, if ray AS bisects angle TAN, then by definition of angle bisector, angle TAS is equal to angle SAN. For you to understand this, let us draw angle TAN. So this is TAN. Angle bisector divides the angle into two congruent angles. Means that angle TAS is equal to angle SAN. Okay. Number five, if angle one and angle two form linear pair, then by definition of linear pair, we can say that at measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Now let us try this activity. In the given figure, GRAY is a rectangle. Complete the conclusion and write the reasons that will justify each of the statements. Number 1, if S is the midpoint of segment GA, then by definition of midpoint, we can say that segment GS is equal to segment SA. Number two, if segment GA bisects segment RY, by definition of segment bisector, we can say that segment SY is equal to segment SR because segment bisector divides the line segment into two congruent parts. Number three, if segment GR is perpendicular to segment RA, then by definition of perpendicular lines, we can say that angle GRA is a right angle. 
Number 4, if angle GRA and angle RAY are supplementary angles, by definition of supplementary angles, we can say that measurement of angle GRA plus measurement angle RAY is equal to 180 degrees. Number 5, if angle GYS and angle SYA form a right angle, then by definition of right angle, we can say that measurement of angle GYS plus measurement of angle SYA is equal to 90 degrees. That's it for our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!